Thank you very much, g -Man. Now, celebrated French artist Henry Matisse has been honoured with the first full-scale exhibition displaying his works on the African soil. Now, it's named Rhythm and Meaning, and the Johannesburg exhibition comes to close on Saturday and has been offering art lovers a real chance to engage with this iconic artist's work. And joining us via Skype is co-curator of the exhibition, Federico Freschi, to tell us a bit more about how this exciting installation came together. Thank you very much. Good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us uh, this morning. But uh, let's first quickly start off um, by you telling us a bit more about um, uh, Henry Matisse, who was, of course, well-known for his paintings, but also uh, well-known as a craftsman as well. So what makes his work stand out in terms of the art world? Matisse was a master of many media, um, obviously known as a painter, and then also known towards the end of his life uh, for using paper cutouts and turning paper cutout into a, a unique medium in its own right. Um, and his importance in art history is really, you know, it starts very early in the early 20th century where he was one of the uh, so-called fauvists, mm -hmm. the, uh, the so-called wild beasts of uh, contemporary art. Um, and then throughout his life, he continued to, uh, you know, reinvent himself and find whatever medium suited what he needed to say. So he mastered painting, uh, various techniques of printmaking, sculpture, and then of course, uh, paper cutout as well. Now, of course, what makes this exhibition extra special is that it's the first full-scale exhibition on the African continent. How did all of this come together? The, the gallery has previously hosted exhibitions of uh, other French uh, modern masters, uh, Chagall, uh, Miro, Picasso. Um, so it seemed timely to have an exhibition by Matisse because, you know, with Picasso, Matisse is probably the most celebrated and best known of uh, the modern artists. Even for people who don't know terribly much about art, might have heard the name Matisse, um, which gives us a sense of his enormous uh, appeal. So it seemed uh, timely to have an exhibition like this in South Africa, in Africa, for the first time. Um, Matisse's works have been seen in South Africa before. I mean, three of the works on the exhibition, in fact, come from the Johannesburg Art Gallery collection. Um, but this is the first full-scale exhibition. And of course, Matisse was also very interested in, and to some extent influenced by African art. He collected uh, classical African art. Um, he was very interested particularly in textiles, in, in Cuba cloth, in North African textiles and garments. And he brought those into his artworks in various ways. Um, so it was really an opportune moment to, to look at how uh, this kind of sense of Africa was so important to Matisse and to bring it to Africa. Well, I think the African continent is surely a place of great inspiration indeed. But um, other than viewing the artworks as well, what other uh, related activities have art lovers been able to enjoy while at the exhibition? And the works are, they come from various places, uh, from private collections, from the Matisse Museum in the north of France. Uh, and at the Matisse Museum in Nice in the south of France. So the works don't travel very much, so it really is quite a rare opportunity. And this exhibition was specifically created for Johannesburg. So there's also a schools outreach program where we've been bringing groups of learners into the gallery and also taking a bus out to learners that, that can't come to the gallery. Um, so that's been quite an extensive, extensive outreach program, um, which has been great fun for the school children. There are also public walkabouts um, every Wednesday and Friday during lunchtime. Mm -hmm. And the last uh, walkabout is scheduled for Saturday, 17th of uh, September. Um, there are also, we've also had uh, Matisse pop-up studios uh, at Melrose Arch, at Menlin, uh, and at the Maponia Mall where people could go along and sort of, you know, make their own little Matisse-inspired artwork, which mm -hmm. is quite fun. Um, so those are some of the activations, and um, it's good, but, you know, nothing can really, I think, replace the experience of actually going along to the gallery and just uh, engaging with work firsthand and um, making up your own mind. You know? Yeah. Tell me a bit more about the works that have been included in this exhibition called Rhythm and Meaning and how you went about selecting these. Um, the title Rhythm and Meaning comes from a quote by Matisse where he's commenting on jazz portfolios, the, the prints uh, from the jazz portfolio, which I'm taped on the exhibition. Um, and they're characterized by the, the very bright colors and very energetic patterns. Mm -hmm. um, and he said in relation to that work that it's not enough to put colors together, no matter how beautiful. The colors must also react on one another. Yeah. So um, that notion of rhythm and meaning really appealed to us as curators because it 
in a sense, what the exhibition is doing is exploring the various rhythms and meanings that animate Matisse's work. So the rhythms of line, the rhythm of color, the rhythms of texture, as well as the rhythms of context, you know, the times in which he painted them. Um, and then the various layers of meaning that are attached to that. So, you know, on the surface, uh, things might appear just to be quite decorative or quite playful or just a straightforward portrait, but there's always a story or a context behind it, um, which complicates that meaning somewhat. So we, we have these, these various strands of rhythms and meanings that are, are layered in the expression. And um, so, yeah, that's where the title came from. The time period of the work, yeah. Well, the work, the exhibition actually spans uh, from the very beginning of Matisse's career, the very first work that he showed publicly, um, and some of the very early Fauvist paintings, which haven't traveled very much out of their uh, home uh, collection. So again, it's a very rare opportunity to see them. And then some of the very last work that he made, you know, so it sort of spans between those artistic and biographical bookends of the beginning and end of his career. There's, you know, virtually all the themes and media that he explored in between. So the printmaking, the drawing, uh, the sculpture, the paper cutout, um, it really gives the audience a taste of Matisse's work and his life and his significance. Now, as I understand, the exhibition is ending very soon, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's in, coming to an end very soon, so get there while you can. <laughs> Well, thank you very much uh, for uh, taking our call and joining us via Skype. So if you are an enthusiast of this art uh, kind of style of Henry Matisse, then you can find more information and, of course, catch this wonderful exhibition in Johannesburg. You can find out more information by visiting www.ifas.org.za. Thank you very much once again to Federico. Right now, let's find out what else you can expect on this morning's edition of your Feel Good Breakfast Show.